three, two, five, one. Dick. What up? <laughs> what up? What's, What's up, up, everybody? I am Lord Mike Bedlam. And I am. It's going out. <laughs> and we are not saints. We are the Podunk Punks. And, and we are welcome. here with our, our, well, Joey never left. Yeah. Uh, Joey's right. actually been sleeping on my dog bed, uh, you know. Just kind of keeping me company Constant. at night. I throw a blanket over top of him every now and then. He he doesn't complain much. I am spooning with Sonny every night. Every mm. fucking night, dude. And he, like, Sonny's uh, apparently, you know, Joey was telling me earlier that Sonny is a fucking blanket hog, dude. My dog's an asshole. Yeah. My dog's a huge asshole. Dude, okay, so when I first bought my dog, when I first bought my dog. Speaking of asshole. <laughs> well, actually, this is a different story, because I think I told that story already on the Earthworm Von Doom episode. Oh, you did? Um, but uh, this is a different one. Dude, the first day we brought my dog home, we let him outside in the backyard. Guess what the first thing he does? Just, 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 guess, guess what's the first thing he does? Shit. Close. He goes over to where we buried our old dog before him. Uh, uh, uh. And just rips up all the flowers and like the the tree that we planted there, and just pisses on it, and That's like so fucked. You shall have no dog but me. Yeah, pretty much. There can be only there one. There can be only one. So we. So what you're saying by we're not saints is that some we are angels to some, demons to others. No, no, we're just demons to everybody. Yeah, that's the Explorers point. Explorers in we're the furthest fucking... reaches of experience. Dude, oh, we're God. none of that. We're punks. <laughs> we are the podunk punks. I get one Hellraiser reference at least an episode. Mm-hmm. I, I, I noticed the reference. I'm surprised. I didn't. You didn't. I didn't. I used man, so many of their quotes in my songs. <laughs> we got we got hell of news to go through, man. There's a lot going down in the metal yeah, world right we're, now. We're doing some. Something different with the uh, stray bullets today. We're gonna do strictly metal. strictly metal news because why not? There's a lot of shit that's been going on. Like AJ said, you know, there's fucking um, shit. Wait, so I'll go down to T. Yeah, the T, faceless. The faceless. Yeah. There's two of them then. Okay, yeah. Cool. There is. So here's the first one. This is fucking hilarious, dude. Michael Keane. God this, damn it. This is a the, and, speaking of which. This is like a rerun of what happened with Amir. You only with a mirror, wasn't it? Shrooms. Yeah. Okay. So, in more death metal news, the faceless's Michael Keane will rebuild band after yet again every single other member of the faceless has left. Yeah. Which opens up yet another opportunity for me to play with them. <laughs> I will do it. I have survived worse. I miss Evan Brewer. Ever Brewer was the shit. Dude, yeah. they underutilized him. What though. is he doing nowadays? Is he still doing his solo um, stuff? Oh, yeah, always solo stuff. That and Athenios. Yes, Athenios. No shit. Yep. Nice. Uh, bouncing between bass brands like it's his fucking job. Hey, I would. It is I his fucking job. It. Well, it's been like every year he'll be like, oh, these guys, oh, these uh, guys, uh, oh, these guys. Warwick, uh, Spectre, uh, ESP, uh, back to Warwick. Dude, uh. people, people pay him to like provide reviews of shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know. Uh, he's an amazing bassist. Uh, I think he's on MTD right now, Michael Tobias Designs, which good bassists can't afford them. <laughs> Fuck no. All right, so what does this say? Undergoing an overhaul once more as every band member of the group, save for one constant, Michael Keane, all made the decision to leave the group yesterday, March 19th, without hesitation. McKean has promised to rebuild the lineup and commit to all upcoming dates and issue a play. You know what I want? I, you know what would be funny as shit? Is if nobody came to, to fucking to the rescue for him and he still did the dates and it's just maybe pulled like a putrid pile. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that'd be kind of neat. Da, na, 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 na. <laughs> Um, can do the vocals? So is on. No one. It would just be, it would literally be all backing track. And would, singing. And his singing. Yeah. No It would be him singing they, live and know, everything else would be backing track. The parts on Planetary track. Duality were pretty they good. They were good, but they were overprocessed as fuck. You know what would be funny as fuck is if Michael Keane eventually put down his guitar to pursue a singing career. <laughs> With heroin. That would be weird. I think he's getting, uh, well, in other news, uh, Michael oh, Keane does oh, heroin. Wait, wait. We're not getting to that one yet, Joey. Oh, yeah, we do actually have another uh, faceless we do. thing after the. Uh, Ken. Vocalist, guitar, so and drums yeah. all released an independent statement that- on Facebook detailing their reasons for leaving. Each musician noted that anyone with internet access should be aware of what drove them to reach this decision. And they all thank the Faceless's manager for his efforts. So thank just EJ. him. 
Thank you, EJ. We gotta call that guy. Yeah, I think I think is that all of this article? No, but wait, there's more. Meanwhile, Which guitar is keen. Seen? Oh shit. We are currently conf- confirming a lineup with some sort of the best, Damn most it. creative, and technically proficient musicians of the extreme metal genre. While the Faceless don't have any tour dates on the horizon, he affirmed we will not be canceling any shows. <laughs> I, I do have an <laughs> inside scoop on this. So the drummer is going to be... I'm trying to remember what the band is. Go ahead and pull up the other one. Uh, dude, from- us I was- oh, yeah, that's it. It's going to be Agoraphobic Nosebleeds drummer. What? Wait, uh, uh, isn't he the same drummer in... He's a uh, machine. Yeah, he's the same drummer from Pigeon. It's a drum Shrine. machine. Oh. Is it a drum machine? Yeah. Oh. Oh, damn. I thought you were saying that... Um, no, no, he's not literally a machine. The drummer was a machine. Um, Yarvis is the drummer for Pigeon yeah, Destroyer. Yeah, Adam yes. Yarvis, bro. Anyway, um, former the faceless guitarist claims that Michael Keane's heroin addiction is to, is to blame for the band's problems. So who knew? I mean, he had to be on heroin to play like that. Really? Actually, apparently, from what he says, he, he's he's sucking really bad because he's not practicing and spending all of his time being whopped out on heroin. Fuck. The faceless has not been having a terrible. Uh, Terribly yeah. stellar 2018, mainly due to the fact that every everyone besides the vocalist and guitarist Michael Keane have quit the band. The guys, uh, the guys who all quit, made statements that suspiciously felt Keane left Keane. Oh, uh, suspiciously left Keane out of the thank yous, which should make it clear that the split. It probably wasn't amicable. Uh, amicable. Yeah, I, I can't. You're, you're right. This fucking screen is tiny. Then I need to push it this way a little bit more. Keen responded with a short, in short, through the fa- okay. Somebody else read this. <laughs> Fuck through the me, faceless man, I can't Facebook read. page saying there would be a new lineup soon and that they would not miss any shows. And now he's saying via his Instagram that there's a new lineup in place. Keen also throws the old lineup under the bus, of course, saying that they betrayed and disrespected him, which all immediately elicited a response from ex-guitarist Justin McKinney. Dude, the back and forth that they have here is so fucked. So this is this is Keen. How about how about do you want to be Keen or do you want to be the guitarist? Or is Kenny? Yeah, Kenny's the other guitarist, right? Yes. So do you want to be a gu- guitarist one or guitarist two? All right, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! We did decide. Which one? I guess I'll be keen. Okay, you be keen. Go ahead and read keen. <clears throat> Let me begin by saying Hold naturally. On, you're say- nah, dude, you're supposed to be doing an impression here. Yeah, you're not. You're not Joey. You're you Michael Keen. Do you have a vocoder? No. <laughs> but do it Let right. Me begin. <laughs> <laughs> Let me begin by saying naturally there are two sides to every story, and if you knew the events that transpired and the betrayal and disrespect I've received in the past few months, your jaw would hit the floor. Oh, just like yours did, bro? It's a oh, after ooh. you took that hit. It's a miracle I'm still standing. Well, yeah, that's heroin for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next, it's a, it's a miracle me, you're still typing. Next, just let me tell you that this is honest. Leah, fucking fantastic thing for the faceless. You mean you? You are the faceless are, at this yeah, point. Dude. This is a great thing for the, the faceless. The it's, Michael it's Keen singing. solo machine. Yeah, dude. Not only the morale, but the music and the show. This year's touring cycle is going to be a pleasure, and it's going to be a faceless show like you've never seen before. A, so there's only one? There's going to be a faceless show. Yeah. I know there's one. I know there's hey, one. But he said this year's touring cycle. Yeah, this. So he's only going on a one short one show tour. No, there's a there's a few of them. That'd be I, funny I'm as joking. shit if it was a one I'm, show tour. I know he's doing. I think Barrier Death Fest he's doing. Really? What about Paul? Is he really? Yeah, I think uh, Worm Flesh is on that too. Hey, I cannot wait for everyone to see it. Also, the confirmed players I'm working with are absolute animals. Uh oh, wait a minute. Ooh. And I'm honored to have them working with me. We're going to have a blast. Many exciting announcements in the coming <laughs> oh, weeks. Fuck no, fuck hey, no. Hey, Here you go hey, again. Hey, Shift it. What? Hey, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you think? Do you think it's? Do you know how they say if you put a bunch of monkeys into a room together, they'll end up making Shakespeare or writing Shakespeare? Yeah, on a typewriter. Isn't that how Anal Cunt yeah. was made? Yeah. 
I was actually going to say it sounds like that's how the faceless is going to be doing their shit from now on. Oh, God. Like, you know, I put know. a couple of monkeys into a room with a he's guitar. He's capitalizing and animals. I'm not sure if he's emphasizing they're amazing or, or if they're it's literally animals. animals. Leaders, or if it's animals as leaders. <laughs> oh, good point. That'd be funny as shit. That'd be looted. so weird. I wonder if they're on heroin too. <laughs> no, they're not. Mm. Javier's too chunky. Uh, Probably weed. Yeah, I was about to say Tosin's too busy with weed and being awesome. Here you go again, shifting the blame away from yourself and towards the last eighteen people who have quit the band, <laughs> stealing <laughs> money that. from the band. Wait, stealing money from the band, stealing money from fans. Oh, shit. Ooh. Telling fans the reason why you can't play your guitar is because of me being nervous, not because of your heroin addiction or the fact that you never practice. <laughs> Calling him out. Damn, dude. Backtracking your solo and spiraling, getting the band's equipment sold from your storage unit, from non-payment, and using the money. Faceless manager EJ Shannon sent you to pay for the unit was used to buy heroin. Wow. Why? Wow. So getting the band's equipment sold from your storage unit from non-payment. So we didn't pay, and then they had to use their shit to pay for it. And then their well, manager... Well, no, the storage guy <clears throat> took their took stuff their shit. as yeah. payment, and they That's had to get it back. Right. And the manager gave the money to do that and use it to buy heroin, apparently. Getting so high that you can't even make flights on time. So that reveals why they missed Summer Slaughter. Mm-hmm. You sure were Jesus. betrayed. Oh, we sure... Yeah, we sure betrayed you, dude. Getting your fucking li- Get your fucking life together and take responsibility for your shitty actions. Damn, dude. Keen has submitted... Or Keen has admitted to being a recovering ad- drug addict, but this is the first time anybody has publicly stated what the addiction was to. God, I think we got the gist. These are just the actual like screenshots of the shit. But yeah, oh, man, Lord. it's on. Oh my god, it's on. We gotta see what Keen does and on make sure you like Donkey Kong. Make sure whatever uh, Michael Keen does, you give it a thumbs down. Unless I join the band, then because thumbs up because he's feeling down and from the hair one. And make sure you buy tickets from Joey directly if Joey joins, because you you know where the money's gonna go if you give it to to Michael Keen. Base gear. It's going to go to base gear for me. I don't know. It's going to go to heroin for, for now, Michael couldn't, Kane. Couldn't he have picked like a more metal drug to be addicted like to? PCP or fucking yeah, meth. Like, or, or like fucking bath salts. Yeah. Or just something that's... Crocodile. Under- it's a little like Seattle 1992. <laughs> so it's a little Cobain. Go bang. Go bang. Next up, um, <laughs> Joey, you wanted to take away Inquisition. So, in recent old news, the guy from Inquisition is still a scumbag, and people are just now talking about this yet again. What was it, five years after the last time we knew he was a scumbag? This time, it's for kitty porn. What? Are you fucking kidding? You know more about it than I do. I've only heard this accusation currently. So, uh... Let's see it. I can't remember the, what when the last one was. But oh yeah, dude, I don't remember. I remember it might have been in two thousand and nine when it first popped up. But okay, so this is him pleading guilty to it. Yes, but people seem to be like super okay. No, it? like, well, they're <laughs> definitely being apologists about it. You know, oh, well, it's fine. It's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be offensive. No. Uh, oh look, it's Washington again. What the fuck is wrong with Washington, dude? Washington is turning into like the new Florida. That's I feel weird. like I feel like they probably shouldn't have legalized weed in Washington. Maybe According not. to the public record, NCMEC National Center for Missing and Exploited Children noticed an account uploading explicit photographs of young females in their early teens or preteens to photo bucket. What? Really? To, to photo Why bucket? Why would you do that, you retard? How old is he? God, he must not be able to use the fucking computer box. Oh my god. <laughs> It's a or, photo bucket? Or be he didn't one of those... even go for a paid photo sharing website. Yeah, he went he had the for free. free. He wants everyone to see that CP, bro. Either that or his, his private photo bucket. He's like, I don't want to lose these precious pictures. Nah. Um, no one will ever link me to that. Yeah, they traced his IP address. Well, Fuck, of course dude. they did. Keep, keep going. Um, 
While the account he was using would suggest the account was run by a woman, Weirbuck eventually great. admitted that he pretended to be a lesbian. Ah! To acquire the photo. Wow. wow. When police came to interview him and his wife, his wife admitted marital problems. Oh, boo fucking who. Yeah. That he made her dress up to look like a young girl when they had sex. That's so weird. She had been worried that he was might be looking at child pornography. Well, well I guess well, she's not that you're innocent. You're right, you stupid fuck. I mean, like, Jesus. Yeah, she, she didn't really help him out with that at all. <laughs> she was like, yeah, <laughs> I might, figured that shit. He might be looking at child porn. He only makes me dress up like a little schoolgirl. I think it's a little sexy. Yeah, he makes me pee-pee in diapers every now and yeah. then, but I don't think it's too, too weird. I mean, yeah, a lot of guys see that, Sometimes he pee-pees right? on me. Yeah. Why are back with a- Admit the photos were his, and he says, was only looking at them out of curiosity. Bullshit. Dude, you uploaded them to Photo Bucket. Yeah, you, you uploaded them. You obviously wanted them. You Why would obviously you? wanted them. If it was for curiosity, you'd look and leave and be like, oh, fuck this. Get out of this website. Wait a minute. So he's only looking at them out of curiosity. But says, shortly wanna... after, Wirebox computer was subpoenaed and the police noticed he tried to delete as many as 2,000 files off the computer. Three gigs or Dude, 16? three gigs of fucking... Between three and 16. Three and 16 gigs of child porn. Guys... Enough pornography to fill four CD DVDs this of digital not, and or video images. That's not fucking cool, dude. That wow. is not fucking cool. Three I can't gigs. Think. That's a lot. I mean, if that's even in videos, like that's that's a lot. Yeah, so some of that might actually be well, on the low end, that's more than my wireless thing is a that's, month. That's more than what then that's more than the fucking storage I have on my phone. Yeah. Like that's ridiculous. Why would you do? Why would you do something like that? And unfortunately, People a lot of black up. metal fans are not really coming out in support of them, but kind of going, "Well, black metal is supposed to be offensive. This is offensive." But the, the, I mean, there's a difference, though. Like you between don't, like, burning a church and fucking a child, dude. I'd much rather see somebody burning a fucking church. That's not. That's not cool. Is Satan all about fucking little kids too? No, Satan waits for consent. Everybody knows exactly. that. Exactly. He was charged with 30 days of jail for jail credit for time served, 1,000 in fines, and two years probation with limited internet access. Dude, what? No. Dude, he's getting off light. Super light. What? Sincere in his efforts to return to his deviant. Not to return to his deviant. Okay, so apparently he looks like he completed a treatment program. And wow. child, there's a treatment program for child porn addiction. Yeah, what? I gotta applaud Season of Mist. Their <laughs> child porn anonymous for dropping them like a bad fucking habit. Yeah, they're, Which, they're go labeled. Season of Mist. Yeah. Here, look. There's something here. It says that here's Uh-oh. an update. We've it got says, a statement from it him. It says that he released a statement denying some of it, and metal uh, metal sucks posted a rebuttal. Oh, shit. All right, so who's reading it? All right. Don't look at me. I've been fucking up all night. To all fans, supporters, and close ones, I would like to clarify some horrific misinformation generated by the webzine Metal Sucks of a personal matter of mine in 2007. First, you must take into account everything Metal Sucks published is taken from court documents that state charges and accusations rather than what was proven or admitted in 2007. Second, I never played guilty... Yeah, pled guilty to the charges, and the original charges were dropped after the courts examined all evidence. I am not a sex offender, and I was absolutely innocent of all charges. The plea bargain was something the prosecutor insisted on, and for the defense was the best option to end a lengthy legal process. Also, the background check what webpage circulating is not entirely correct. It is definitely not showing what the police background check would show you. With my fullest respect to you, please read my metal, my statement Metal Sucks has told me they would publish. So this thing on the internet kind of throws me under the bus, but don't look at that because look at, look at the other one. It doesn't throw me on the bus as much. Look yeah. at the police report, not the other report. <laughs> All right. So. Well, technically, wait, so the, I mean, technically, if you read the police report, you get more of the story out of it. Yeah. Uh <clears throat> I made an un- very unwise choice of actions in 2007, which got me into some legal problems. <laughs> I downloaded some child porn. Dude, in I, just, I was really curious a lot on of B. It. I think I think 4chan was a big part of my life in 2007. Oh God! 
But, I, you know, like, it was just so easy to come by. After yeah. the investigation was conducted, a year and a half later, after the initial charges, the original charges brought against me were dropped and a plea deal was presented to me. The investigation determined I did not have anything that fell under the original charge. The police report suggested I had deleted and obstructed evidence, which I deny to have done. However, the obstruction charge was still part of the plea deal, as was the other charge mentioned in this article. The second charge is related to viewing pornography in a public area. And they g- <laughs> when did that come up? All right, again. All right. So, and again, Whatever. was taken as a part of the plea deal. I to mean, be I clear, I have pornography no pornography in a public area. Why is that bad? Uh, it's a sex crime. But I have no sex crimes. This did not involve any other person other than myself. And I have moved forward since 2009 while having compiled complied with all aspects of the law i wish to remain focused on my music and my absolute dedication to the art of black metal despite my any personal views and judgments the followers and supporters of our music may have i am somewhat a somewhat private person and have never cared for a destructive sensationalism and keeping what i feel is private private but i feel it is pri- you can't keep anything private you look up porn in public yeah, that, okay, that's about that's as public as it gets, bro. Well, except for having sex in public, which everyone does once. Now, let's be if real. he only took it up a notch and had sex with a little kid in public, then he'd be in real trouble. That's fucked. Zero to ten. Zero to ten. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my level of transparency is understood, and I thank you, as always, for being so supportive of Inquisition. <laughs> with much respect to you, Dagon. Oh, look, more news. Dago? <laughs> is that what it said? No, Dagon. no, it says Dagon. Okay. Warbuck him found himself at the center of a controversy a few years ago when he was accused of being a Nazi. Of course. Oh my God, this guy just from, gets better and better. Yeah. Stemming from a his performance in another band, 88 Millimeter, a name that pays tribute to not a Nazi gun and the phrase Heil Hitler. One of the band's tracks was <laughs> 14 shower heads, <laughs> one, one guest, guest tight, tight door. door. And Jesus which appeared on a compilation <laughs> entitled Declaration of Anti-Semitic Care <laughs> and featured a photo of Weyerbach posing with a flag featuring a swastika on it. Uh, Weyerbach denied these claims. Wait, are they claims or are they fucking album covers? Like, what? let's see. It's got to be in, out in there. The, in the, uh, in, ret- oh, and also, like, re- uh, all the shit that happened with this, uh, Inquisition got dropped from the Maryland death fest and their yeah. tour with satiricon yeah and satiricon so which i'm pretty it. sure the drummer of satiricon murdered somebody yeah holy shit so i mean i much if, rather hang out with a murderer than a child well if rapist. the guys they're like yeah we're cool with him murdering but you guys are off the bill that tells you something. Yeah, it's kind of bad. I'm kind of with Mike though. I'd rather hang out with a murderer than a child I mean, rapist. Yeah, I much rather. I much rather be like. In all in honesty, we probably already have. I so. much rather oh, yeah. hang out with like Jeffrey Dahmer than John Wayne Gacy. Look up the uh, Maryland Death Fest lineup. Maryland Death Fest lineup. Yeah, I have it. I downloaded it. You downloaded it. Yep. Maryland. Oh, Death Fest. Ma- so what? the days I'm most looking forward it's to right are. Was it? I believe it's Thursday at the soundstage, which has defeated Sanity and Gutted bad. on it. Oh, gutted is fucking hot. Yes. Let's see what we got going on here. Got? All right. So, Wednesday at the Auto Bar. This oh, is, my God. Here's Mortician. Mortician. Lord Yo, they Gore. actually got the Auto Bar this time. Yeah. Antichrist Siege Machine and Genocide Pack from Pact, DC. Yo. Yo, We're Genocide friends with Pact. them. I need to I look like up Genocide Antichrist Pact. Siege Machine. That I, sounds I, fucking great. Thursday at Ramsad. We're friends, we're friends with Genocide Pack? I am. Wow. 16, Coven, Gateway to Hell, Chemis. Chemis. Man, Chemis. Mantar, Today is the Day. Ew. And UFO Monot. Ufomot. 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 Yufa Mammut. That's what it is. It's Ufa like Ma- some fucking Sumerian name or some Ufa Persian Ufa. name. I don't know. Thursday at the sound stage. It sounds is Babylonian. Bestial is evil. Bestial Evil. Broken Hope. Defeated Sandy. Gutted. Incantation. Incantation. Torn the fuck apart. Oh, excuse and me. Mortal, mortal Decay. decay and torn, torn the, the fuck, fuck apart. apart. That's beautiful. Friday at Ramshead. Here's some good shit right here. Ooh. Out the mine. Baptism, bloodbath, blood incantation, God dethroned, misery index. Yeah. Sorry, mystery windex. Mystery windex. Mortar skulled, petrification, and sinister. Yo, dude, I think it's kind of funny that you're like, ooh, Friday at Ramshead. This is some good shit. You couldn't even say the first band name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's there's hard band names on here. I know, I know. 
Oh, right. dude, Bound by the Grave. Yeah, no shit. our homies in Bound by the Yo, Grave for the second out. time. Come on to our fucking show. I've messaged all of you. I'll get Polly down Come. here. Come. So, Bound by the Grave, Cognizant, Dead Infection, Durian, I, I Hate, hate God, God, Gonculator, Ooh. Integrity, Lord, Lord Gore, Gore, again, yeah. Sublime, yeah. Cadaveric, Decomposition. I guess they had to fill the slot. Saturday at Ramshead Live, Bolzer. Bolzer. Dead Heim's card. What? Master's Hammer, Pessimist. Pessimist. Nice. Brennanleth? Ritual, Ritual Necro- Necromancy? Yes. The ruins of Beverast, Sadistic Sa- Intent, and Satyricon. There's Ooh. Satyricon. Yo, do I see... Satyricon. Do I see... Is it Satyricon or is it Satyricon? I always Yo. thought it was Satyricon. Blurring, cri- oh sorry, Saturday at Soundstage. Dude, Crippling Bastards and Pig Destroyer? Yeah. Wait, Helmet? Yep, Helmet for some like, reason. Like, Reeking Cross. So like- it's Blurring, Cripple Bastards, Flo- Future Terror, Gasp, Helmet for some reason, Horrible Earth, Pavel Chekhov, <laughs> Pig Destroyer, Plagues, Prong for some reason, Reeking Cross, and Stimulant. Reeking Cross, though. Hold on, so Helmet as in like... Mm-hmm. Paige Hamilton Helmet. You mean like unsung helmet? No. No. Maybe. New York band, kind of hardcorey. <laughs> oh no, I don't know. So, and Marilyn, then, we. Well, oh shit, there's more. Yeah, there's more. Oh my god, there's so Sunday much more. Yes, at please give Rams me more. Head give me live. More. Is that Archon, Archon Infestus, Infestus, Infestus. Ascended Dead, Dark Space, Dusk, Invoken, Godflesh, Misfaring. Opera nine, suffering hour. This God is, flesh though. Guys, let's make a band called Fetus Deletus. Okay. Feet <laughs> damn it. Sunday at Soundstage. Ah. Bandit. Destroyed in seconds. Enemy soil. Fluoride. Neolithic. Pulmonary fibrosis. <laughs> Pure Whoa. hiss. Pulmonary. Violation wound. Viscera and fest. Yes. And worm rot. Yes. Ooh. Dude, those last two. Yo, worm rot. So we're That's gonna be it. spending a lot of money. Uh, it's like three hundred a ticket, isn't it? It's like yeah. two eighty. Well, yeah. no, for, for the for whole thing. For the whole that's thing, for the whole it's thing. like three hundred. It's like thirty five for a day. That ain't bad. And that's one venue. So if you want to do the two venues, that's Friday's gonna be hard. Oh yeah. I want to support Bound, but Bloodbath is right next door. Yeah. <laughs> I might skip Bloodbath and just go hang out with the homies in Bound. Yeah, yeah, they're really cool, dude. I the, love I love those guys. Well, last Friday I played a show at the Depot, and Paul Jack came out specifically to hang out with us and recently vacated Graves. Just I hate that the, fucking name. Yeah, it's a great band though. I hate that name. Recently vacated Graves. True Zombie. They just metal. made it vacated Graves or something like. But oh, yeah, they, Joey, Joey, do your impression of recently vacated Graves. What? You said oh, they're zombie metal? Yeah, they're true zombie metal. True zombie metal. Bro. So, you know, th- this song is about brains. This next song is about brains. This song is about racism. And brains. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just, they're so awesome. Just the such a tight fucking I love band. that shit. But, I hate uh, their name, though. Yeah, so Paul Jack ha- hung out with us all night. Me and him closed down the depot at, like, 2.30 when we finally got kicked out. Just came out, supported every band. Just going nuts. He says, hey, do you too? Yeah, <laughs> dude, my, my last interaction with him fucking sucked that I need to make it up. The, la- the last time, we were at that uh, 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 Alter Beast show. Yes. Yeah, and dude, on my, way out, there. on my way out, fucking, I lost my... Uh, my credit card or whatever. Did you ever find that? No, and I had to call and get it all shut down and everything. But I got a new one. It was fine. But Shut it down. Dude, fucking on my way out, I was like, oh, shit, I can't find it. I was like, oh, man, whatever. After trying to help me look around and find it, <laughs> whatever, I shook shit. his hand or whatever. And when I went to go shake his hand, I just knocked the fucking drink that he was holding right out. It was like a shot of Jameson, like a $5 shot. And I just <laughs> knocked it right on the floor. And he's like, well... I guess it's probably better off that way or some <laughs> shit. Yeah, he's always you, so optimistic. You about know shit. he got another shot. Oh yeah, I know well, he got he, another yeah, shot. Yeah, it's there. probably better off that way. I'm gonna get another one. Well, he was, that's one he was, shot he was, less. He was just thinking that I poured a shot out for my homie, so huh? Got to get another one. <laughs> but ever since then, I, I owe him a shot. So yeah. it's, it's hey. been my mission in life. But uh, yeah, um, fucking rapist. 
You piece of shit. All right. All right. Well, so uh, I wanted to share with you real quick. We're the, already like an hour in. I know. I, w- I wanted to bring it up real quick with the with the longest band name I've ever fucking seen in my entire life. Are you guys oh, okay. ready for this? Okay. All right. This <clears throat> is the longest band name. All right. All right. Here we go. Do you want me to what? What accent would you like? Want me to do like a British 50, accent? Is it fifty-five Gore? No, no. Yeah, um, yeah doing a British accent. <sighs> All right. Um, acidic vaginal liquid explosion generated by mass amounts of filthy fecal fisting and sadistic septic uh, syphilic sodomy inside the infected maggot-infested womb of a molested nun dying under the the roof of a burning church while a priest watches and ejaculates an immense perverse pleasure over his first fresh fetus. Ah, oh, damn. I really have to say, I applaud them on being descriptive. Yes. They are definitely this fucking asshole. showing. Guess Not what their telling. album name is? Ah! Gore. Yes. That's fit- I think that's 55 Gore. No, uh, it's, it's, they have like this long fucking S, what, what would it be? A, V, L, E, G, B, M, M. Oh, F. It, 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 they, they have an acronym for their fucking name. Fuck them. But, uh... A smang display of hammer... Yeah, it, it's intracerebrally awards. consuming syphilogenia through the cranium macerating. Yeah, close. No cigar. Okay. Yeah, this, huh. these guys actually make you have to memorize their... If they don't have a surname, they, they just go by their long-ass fucking bullshit. Shh. I wonder if the singer actually memorized this. Like, hello, yeah, we are... Uh, well, by the time he vaginal finishes it, he's already 15 minutes into a set. Yeah, pretty much. Where Dude, are these guys? We should make a fucking, like, noise band where the set is only, like, 10 minutes long, but the set is literally just us pronouncing our entire fucking name. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> that would be pretty fucking funny. Um, aside from that, let's wrap it up with, uh, you, you had some, some uh, news about suffocation. Yes, uh, the day has come. Frank is officially retiring from the band after one last tour. I mean, he did kind of stop. He re- he retired from extensive touring. Yeah. He's still one-off shows. Because he wants to be with his family. Yeah. Well, he's actually <laughs> going to be an actor. He's going to be an actor? Yeah. What? What's That's he what- acting in? I don't fucking know, but something. My it porno. Be horror- it might be- it better be like a remake of I Spit on Your Grave. Hell yeah. You mean a second one? Because I'm pretty sure they did that a already. A third. And a second remake. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so from what I've heard, it's a farewell to Frank tour, not a farewell to Suffocation tour, because we've had too many farewell tours this year. Yeah. But True. I believe Ricky Myers from Discord in California is going to be taking over full-time vocals. Ricky Myers ain't bad. Oh, he's, he's, he's fantastic. He's, he's been doing an awesome job. It's not as close to Frank's barking. It's way more brutal death. But I'd like to see what they come up with. I'm fairly certain Ricky was on the new Suffocation album, which I still haven't picked up. But it's, you know, we should all go out and see the last time Frank will be doing the the what's chop. The, what's the name of the singer for Suffocate? Suffocate? Which yeah. one? There's been like eight. Or suffocation. Suffocate. Suffocate. I forget his name. Um, there's been, there's, there's like we're a lot. The one with the loops? Yeah, Ricky Hoover. Yeah, Ricky yeah, Hoover. Ricky Hoover. That's what, for some reason, I thought that's who it was. No, I suffo- forgot. No. Yeah. Suffocate, Deathcore. Not yeah. bad. They're okay, but all their songs sound the same. That, and you can play them with, with like five frets. Mm-hmm. Like everything they play is under five frets. Uh, and it's like hardcore death chords. It's, it's really simplistic it's shit. shit. I yeah. mean. Okay, well, I guess that's it for our stray bullets. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and cut it off here. Um, do, stray bullets, extra clip. We're yeah. gonna do our actual show now with Hell Joey. Yeah. Yes. yes. So stay tuned, yeah. bitches. Yeah, which uh, technically you don't have to because this is a separate video. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Unless you're watching this on the live stream that doesn't exist. Yeah. Only fucking heaven gets to see that. It's in our mind. It's in our heaven. Later.